Once our base stance is, uh, we're comfortable there, our next element is our motion. Uh, here from a staggered stance, there it's a right leg lead. Uh, in general, if we're right-handed, we're most comfortable with the right leg lead. Uh, we feel it is important, however, to be comfortable leading right or left, as well as in a staggered stance. Um, that is to say, though, we will predominantly wrestle from our dominant leg or our dominant arm lead. Okay? Uh, so motion, we're going to be moving side to side here. Circling. Changing lead legs. As well as moving from a square stance. Circling, shuffling side to side. I think it's important to know that our general philosophy is that in our stance we always want to move forward. We're taking our offense as well as our defense in a forward progress. If we ever feel the need to move in a backward direction, we always would want to circle and move forward that way. Another element of our motion is also changing our elevation. So here um, Derek's in a good position. If he wants to raise or lower his elevation, this is really important that it's done with our legs. He's not, if he was wrestling me and I'm lower than him and he wants to beat my position, he squats down to do that as opposed to bending over at the back. Okay? In this way, he keeps a good center of gravity where he's mobile and he can still both attack and defend. So, do some shadow wrestling here. I see circling. Shadow wrestling. He's changing his elevation. He can wrestle up. Look for underhook position. So as Derek's moving around here, he can stay in that good, comfortable low position. As well as if he wants to wrestle up in the underhooks, he can come up. Again, changing his elevation by using his legs. Another key element to our motion is closing the distance or closing the gap. Um, I think this is a position that's overlooked uh, quite frequently. And, and uh, I think it's important to know or to note that when we're wrestling, when the whistle blows or there's breaking the action or breaking the contact, how do I close the gap? I think our philosophy is to stay in our relaxed position, our good solid stance, and close the distance as we're stalking our opponent until we can make contact without making ourselves vulnerable, without reaching, in essence. Okay. So if Derek and I are wrestling, the whistle would blow. As I'm going to move forward, I'm just going to stay in my good relaxed position here until I can grab. Generally, I'm going to make contact by getting close to my opponent and attacking straight across, whether I'm grabbing the wrist, or an inside tie. So we're moving forward, I stayed relaxed, I didn't reach or extend myself where I'm making my legs vulnerable, I didn't come up out of my position to grab head or collar ties where he might duck beneath me, or likewise get myself too low where he might jump on my head and front him up type stuff. So closing the gap is a very relaxed position where I'm just moving forward, stopping until I can grab. Okay. 